are multiple active scenes right now across Orange County, but the main focus is right here. This is Sky 6 above the Brookside apartment complex near Cinder Lane and Lake Orlando Parkways that is not far from Orange Blossom Trail. Our coverage this evening begins there live with investigator Lewis Bolden and Lewis. We know after the shooting this morning at Walmart, uh, the suspect is accused of carjacking someone, then dropping off that car at that apartment complex. That's right, Lisa, and I can tell you law enforcement officers appear to be ramping up instead of pulling back. That apartment complex that you mentioned is right down Cinder Lane Parkway. It is right around the corner and on the right hand side um, and on the right hand side. And uh, they have been focusing on that area all day long. It is right down before you get to OBT. Now, we shot some video a little bit earlier. As we have said all day, there has been a large law enforcement presence here all day long. But this is what we saw in the last hour. A number of law enforcement vehicles, SUVs, cruisers, even a couple of armored trucks with SWAT team members in the back. State and local law enforcement agencies. We also saw agents with the FBI. These officers have been heavily armed all day. Uh, they have had Cinder Lane Parkway blocked most of the day, where they focus on that apartment complex where they believe 41-year-old Markeith Lloyd could be. Now, police say he shot and killed an Orlando police officer today. Many people say the thought of a cop killer being in the area is unnerving, but they have also had some very practical problems here. And it, and it totally alters families' lives, you know, like I, I can't even get out of my neighborhood to go to work. You see what I'm saying? So that 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 what makes it really tough. It affect it, now it's affecting my family financially. And a lot of families have been affected uh, like that. If they can't get out, that also means that families have not been able to get in. And we've seen that all day long where people have tried to drive down Cinder Lane Parkway because there's not only that apartment complex where uh, law enforcement officers are focusing, but there are about three other apartment complexes. So a lot of people have not been able to get to their homes because that road is blocked from here all the way down to OBT. So that has definitely been a problem that uh, people have been dealing with all day. Lisa. Yeah, Lewis, we just heard from Chief Mina, who said they have really searched dozens of apartments and homes now. And we are trying to be very careful not to show any live pictures that would reveal officers' locations uh, just in case this Markeith Lloyd is actually watching some news coverage. We also know that, though, there is a large reward now being offered uh, for someone to turn him in. There is a very real possibility that someone could be helping him. So we're hoping that someone will go ahead and call Crimeline or 911. I believe that reward is up to $60,000 now, and that's one reason uh, that we are down the street. At one time, uh, police officers had opened the road up and they let us park in front of the apartment complex. And then they thought twice about that and said that that's probably not a good idea so uh, that we, we wouldn't be able to show their tactical maneuvers and how they're planning on approaching those apartments. And that's why we are down the street uh, about a half block from that apartment complex. Lisa. Yeah, also very dangerous. I mean, he's already allegedly carjacked one person this morning, and we know that uh, he uh, potentially is armed and very dangerous. Lewis Bolden reporting live for us. We'll continue to check in with you.